What I want to do now is we're going to have a special story time uh, given by Miss Karen, uh, Pastor Monty's wife. And if you are a kid in the room and you'd like to join us up here, we've got a little rug area. Come on up this way. And uh, we'd love to have you just sit right here on this rug. We're going to be telling you a, a great story about the Christmas story. So come on up. Great to see you guys. Perfect, perfect. And while they're getting situated again, we are so glad that you're here and making this a part of your Christmas celebration this year. So I'm going to turn it over now to Miss Karen Setzler as they squeeze in there. All right. How exciting. Wow. Yeah, come on up. Fantastic. I'm so excited to see you this evening. You look great. You look like you're about to celebrate something special. Does it have to do with Jesus' birth? Yes. I'm excited to share this story with you. Twas the evening of Christmas. If you can't see the book, it's going to be right up there on the big screen. All right, twas the evening of Christmas. <clears throat> twas the evening of Christmas when all through the town, every inn was so crowded, no room was to be found. Tired Mary and Joseph, who went door to door, at last found a place on a small stable floor. Thank goodness said Mary, who tiptoed inside. The mice saw the donkey and scurried to hide. The rest of the creatures all cuddled up tight in hopes they might have a calm, peaceful night. The pigeons were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of breadcrumbs danced in their heads. The cows closed their eyes, and the oxen laid down. The doves cooed so gently, the lambs made no sound. The moon through the trees was just starting to glow with a glimmer of light on the stable below, when quite by surprise came a newborn babe's cry that woke all the animals sleeping nearby. Up jumped the cows and the oxen and sheep. Up popped the pigeons, aroused from their sleep. They all came to gaze at that small baby boy as his mama and papa hugged him with joy. Now donkeys, now cows, now pigeons and sheep, now oxen and mice in the manger did peep. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples so sweet as they nuzzled his fingers and cute little feet. And out in the fields taking care of their sheep, some shepherds were just getting ready to sleep when all of a sudden they had such a fright as the whole choir of angels lit up the night. But the song of the angels, the words that they said, soon let the men know they had nothing to dread. Dear shepherds, it's wonderful news that we bring. A Savior is born. He is Jesus, the King. They ran to the stable and peeked through the door and saw something never imagined before. There in a manger, a baby boy lay, no blankets, no pillow, his bed made of hay. The, the, the stable was filled with a wonderful light as stars above Bethlehem twinkled so bright. And high in the heavens, God whispered, my son, you'll bring hope to the world and love everyone. 
Then back to their slumbers, the animals curled, amazed at this babe who had entered their world. As Mary and Joseph got ready for bed, they snuggled their baby and kissed his sweet head. As Mary laid Jesus asleep in the hay, she thought about all that had happened that day. The mice heard her whisper as she tucked him in tight. Merry Christmas, my son, and to all a good night. Let's pray and thank God for this special gift and the reason that we celebrate Christmas. Lord, I just thank you for these boys and girls and how they're learning the true meaning of Christmas and how excited they must be about Christmas and Christmas time. And Lord, let them know in their hearts how special this greatest gift was to us long ago, who stays with us even today, because Emmanuel means God with us. Thank you, Lord. Amen.